The task is, is to identify the time of the day. Let's try to find some objective cues revealing this fact. At the end of the video, you will have another short question. Therefore, even if you didn't solve this one, you can try to solve the other one using the information that you're gonna hear right now. Let's get this race going! From where we can start. The analysis of the featured behavior doesn't tell us much. The guys are cooking, unpacking some stuff, doing photos. Interestingly, from the type of the uh, used photo camera, one can guess that this event might have happened at the beginning of the 20th century. But it doesn't tell us much about the time of the day. And finally, there is someone hunting butterflies. Better than spiders, isn't it, Ron? Why spiders? Why can not we follow the butterflies? However, some interesting details can be noticed when analyzing this dude. He is not a dude. You're a dude. This, this is a man. A handsome, muscular man. Take a closer look on his shadow. Which direction suggests the location of the sun? Indeed, if the shadow had come from the fire, the direction would have been different. In turn, the location of the sun has a direct relationship with the time of the day. The sun rises at east in the morning and going down at west in the evening. Thus, if we only knew cardinal points in this drawing, where is north, for instance, we could solve this puzzle. So what are the hints of north location? Those who watched the other logic puzzle, by the way, if you didn't check it out, it's quite cool, link in the description, they know that, for instance, the flight direction of crane flocks can suggest the location of south and north. But here, we don't see anyone in the sky. What is the trick? No tricks. Remember, we are in the forest, so let's try to use this information. Take a closer look on the tree branches. They are asymmetrical. So how can we use it? Well, plants try to absorb as much light as possible. So let's take a look on this picture illustrating the sun pass at two specific days of a year for a fixed position on Earth, specifically at this nice island. I just uh, cannot get rid out of the thought that this is exactly an island where Jack Sparrow was left by his crew. That be the same little island that we made you governor of on our last little trip. I did notice. If we assume that we are at Northern Hemisphere, then, as you can see, the sun will peak south of overhead point. Therefore, the sun just spends most of its time in the southern part of the sky for Northern Hemisphere. Therefore, the south-facing part of the tree, for instance the spa, will receive more light and ultimately will have longer and fuller branches. However, in a deep forest, trees with their shadows cover the neighboring trees. Therefore, longer and thicker branches in the middle of the forest can be directed not only to the south, but also to any other direction. But here, the trees are freestanding. Thus, we can use the discussed fact. Therefore, we know the location of north, south, east and west, which leading us to the conclusion that the shadow points toward west. Therefore, the sun is at east and the drawing features the morning. Actually, it wasn't that hard. <laughs> if you like this logical reasoning, try to answer another two questions related to this picture. The first is, did the group just arrive or at least spend a couple of hours at that place? The second question is, can you guess a wind direction? Here it may be a bit too easy, since you have this flag over here. Assume that this is a plastic decoration and do not use it as a hint. Share your answers and ideas in the comments. Every comment will receive a response. As usual, if you like this video and want to have more content like this, then give it a thumb up, it does help to understand your preferences, subscribe to the channel, allowing all notifications not to miss the other soon coming videos about logic and math puzzles and neuroscience research. And I hope to see you soon.